guys. So my chicks are getting pretty big. They're about three weeks old. So it's time to send them to the intermediate coop. All right, guys, so the intermediate coop right now uh, is without a roof. Uh, and so I've got this old piece of tin roofing laying around. And so the idea is to kind of cut it, cut the rough end off, uh, put a couple of poles up in the coop and uh, make a little roof for them. But anyway, I'm gonna cut this square and, and I'll show you what I got going on out there. At the coop. All right guys, we're in the coop now. We've got the two poles set up along the length of the coop and we've got the old piece of roofing cut and put on. And so their roost is right underneath it. They have their feed and their water there too. And then they'll have this place right here to come out and, and kind of forage and scratch around like chickens like to do. But anyway, I'm gonna get the food and water set up and uh, get the chicks in here. All right, guys, we got the new chickies moved into their home. They're all kind of huddled up in the corner, just kind of getting used to it, but they're already eating some grass, eating some seeds, and acting like a chicken should. So guys, we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna leave them alone right now and let them get acquainted to their new place, but we've moved them out to the intermediate coop and they're liking it so far. All right guys, so I've cleaned my brooder up, brought it out here to the barn. And now this is the larger brooder. This is the brooder that I raised all the, uh, all the older hens and chickens we've got in. But since we just got eight this last time, I drug out the smaller one. This one here is about three by five by about two and a half tall. But they're in the barn, they're retired for the year. Chicks have a new home, they're happy in the new home. They've outgrown all the brooders, so guys, uh, stay tuned for updates on them, God bless.